Star Boom a Fool. It's a crack party! While walking in the woods one day, Chris and Martin saw something strange. A little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. Where are they going? I don't know. How do we get there? Come on, let's go! We beat the mosquitoes. Yeah, that was a close one. Oh, but I got a lot of bites. I know, they got me too. They're so itchy. I know. Whew. I wonder if the mosquitoes got Zabu. Let's call them. Like mosquitoes. Zabu. Zabu Blabu! The lemur has landed. Zabu, buddy. Good to see you. Hey. Zabu's here. That leaping lemur. Zabu's feeling itchy today. He loves a good scratch on the neck. <laughs> Are you itchy? Zabu sure is. So what do you feed an itchy lemur? Don't ask Zabu, because Zabu doesn't like to talk before he has a snack. I got it! Scritchy scratchy! Celery! Good for eating? And for scratching! Zabu, how about celery? Hey, here, have this one. That'll fill your lemur belly. Hey, let me have one of those. Celery's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. I saw a really itchy creature. All creatures get itchy. From monkeys to meerkats. Fish to frogs. Kinkajous to crab brothers. And lemurs. Are you itchy too? Hey, and I'm getting itchy just thinking about it. The creatures I saw were itchy scratchy too. Who could they be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, four legs. I counted them myself. Four legs and two round eyes that looked at everything. Who could it be? This animal who I didn't see. And then there were two. Two baby creatures. Creatures with an itch to play. Do you know who they are? Okay, I think I know who they are. Lion cubs! <laughs> oh, Martin, these cubs are brothers just like us. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, mystery animals here, and uh, they're brothers too, yeah. <laughs> hey, brothers just like you. So I'll call them Chris and Martin. Hey, and you know something really cool about Lion Brothers? They grow up together, then they hunt together, and then they take care of a pride together. The rest of the pride, or group of lions, is made up of lionesses and cubs. So we're with two lion cubs. Yeah, and hanging out with lions. That's one of those things you can only do in Animal Junction. <laughs> well, lion cubs are mungatsika. And you know what? They're itchy like us. <laughs> Are you itchy? Mm -hmm. This one is. Yeah. 
in the wild, an itchy cub can use his back paw to reach the itch behind his ear. <laughs> as long as his brother lets him. I'm so itchy. I, I, I think the itch is here. Yeah, you're scratching my shoulder. Here you go, buddy. I'll scratch you now. I'm so itchy. Chris, could you give me a scratch? Sure, Zob. Oh, 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 yeah. Down, 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 down. Oh, oh yeah, down, down more. Down, down. Oh, oh. Well, I meant to do that. Come on, guys. <laughs> but I'm still itchy. Oh, it's got to be the itch. Well, whatever it is, Hob, get over here, because the cubs have an itch to play. Let's see if a lion is as fast as a lemur. <laughs> You're Martin Pass. Good bounce. Whoa, nice grab. Hey, let's see that again. The charge. Whoa. The bounce. Wow, what little hunters. <laughs> now look at these claws. Look how sharp they are. If you want a good scratching, you might want to see a lion cub. No way. The lion cubs are still itchy. Yeah, whatever's making the cubs itch is making me itch too. Me yeah. too. Me three, four, five. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right, right in the back. Come on. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, more, more, more. Uh, uh, I meant to do that. <laughs> he always said that. <laughs> Who knows why we're itchy, but do you know why the lions have an itch to play? Because it's fun. Well, that. Yeah. And because when they play, these little hunters are doing everything they need to become big hunters when they grow up. Right. Here's how it goes. When lions hear a noise, they turn their ears towards the sound so the sound can come right in. Listening is one of the first things a lion does when she's hunting. OK, first, listen. She listens for creatures she hunts, like a warthog. Those swiveling ears are important because <laughs> that's how lions listen. Yeah, that's what I do, too. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> I should have had my ears pointed towards you, huh? <laughs> I hear the sound of two lion cubs charging. And that's the next stage in the hunt, Zob. But let's start from the top. OK, this is how a lion hunts. First, he listens. Right, Zob. Then he stalks, quietly sneaking up on his prey. Then he pounces on his prey. <laughs> but this time, it's his brother. <laughs> the lion cub Martin pounces on the lion cub Chris. Yeah, playing is a great way to learn how to hunt. Everybody gets into the action. That's how they become big hunters. Yeah, I want to be a big hunter, too. Chris and I are playing tug of war. I think the lion cubs are winning. <laughs> I think we won. He gave oh, up. Wait. Well, he tricked us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, too strong for me. They're strong. Uh, Even these little cubs. Hey, come he, back here. He ran away with it. <laughs> uh, lion cubs are strong. Okay, I get it. These little hunters are learning how to be big hunters. <laughs> yep, I think he's getting the hang of it. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> the lion cubs always have an itch to play. <laughs> yeah, Zabu. And I'm, I'm getting itchy again. I told you, the itch, it's still here. You're right, Zob. No, 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 lion cubs. No, no, stay away from that bag. Uh-oh. No, no, don't get into it. No, no, don't scratch it, Zob. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm in a dust bath. Zabu, you got <laughs> dusted, too. <laughs> There's nothing like a good dust bath to shake off yeah, the itch. I'm going to shake this itch. <laughs> Hey, here's a question. What does an elephant calf do when she's itchy? What? Well, she goes over to elephants in her herd who are giving themselves a nice dust bath. Then she stands under them and gets dusted too. Oh, so that's one of the ways the elephants get rid of the itch. You know what else works when you have an itch? Brushing. Yeah. Uh-oh. Itchy nose. 
Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, there he goes. Ah, you sneeze. Oh, cover. Hey, Cubs, it's safe to come out now. Down the prowl? I know there's a lot of animals who have been through Animal Junction, and the lion cubs smell them. Hey, like the African crab crane. <laughs> Did you notice that all the animals coming through here are itching and scratching? Yeah. I know. But what's making them itch? It's the itch! What? The itch! That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. The itch is here. And that's why we feel itchy-ish. It's got me. The itch is back. The itch is back. Oh, this itch is driving me crazy. This is just driving me nuts. This is just driving me garbanzo beans. Huh? I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel itchyish. How about you? Itchyish. I feel itchyish. Itchyish. I'm an itchy creature, and I got the itch. Itchyish. Chris! <laughs> you know what? I think there's only one thing left to do. We have only one choice. Yeah, but we haven't built one in ages. Hey, brothers, I think I know the... Do you still remember how? I can never forget. All right, let's do it then. Let's build the... I don't know what they're gonna build, but I know, I know why we're in here. Scratching machine! <laughs> Great job, bro. All right. Well, it's not doing anything. I'm still itchy. You have to turn the pedal, Zob. Turn the pedal. Yeah, turn the pedal. Turn the pedal. Manga Chica, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> but it's not scratching me. How does it work? Like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Relief at last. And this is heaven. Ah. Hey, Mark, we gotta try the claw. The claw? All right, let's switch. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, yeah. I wanna try, I wanna have a go. It looks like fun. Your turn, Zav. <sighs> oh, the itch is back. Maybe we didn't get the scratcher going fast enough. All right, let's crank her up. Okay, I'm ready. Scratch me. <sighs> oh, it feels good. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. How's it feel, Zav? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no! Uh, She's uh, gonna blow! Oh, 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 that feels good! That feels good! Good oh, scratch! 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 That feels good! Yeah! Whoa! -ho! Bam -ho! Oh. And for cover! And some scratching! Oh. I smell mud! Oh. 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 Mud makes my nose itchy! <laughs> <laughs> that was wild. Is everybody all right? Yeah. Yup, everybody's okay. Ah, the mud worked. I'm not itchy anymore. It's cool and refreshing. And hyenas use mud to stop itching. Right, after a hyena eats, flies crawl around on his face, and his face gets really itchy. So he'll go to a mud hole, wade in, and then stick his face right in the mud. That way, he won't be itchy but I still am. I guess mud wasn't the answer after all. Yeah, and you know, we've looked at all the reasons animals get itchy and all the things that make an animal itch. But we still can't figure out why we're itchy. Well, that's what I've been and trying And we've looked at all the ways animals get rid of the itch. But we're still itchy, no matter how we scratch. <laughs> that's what I've been trying to... You know, I think Sabu was right. Yeah, sometimes you just get an itch and you don't know why. And no matter what you do, you just can't get rid of it because it's just <sighs> the itch. That's what I've been trying to tell you. In Zabuland, we have a different way of chasing away the itch. I was leaping along, leap, 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 when I landed next to Snow Lemur. He was playing in the sand. 
Hi, Snow Lemur, I said. Oh, uh, uh, hi, Zabu. Uh, you know, w when I come down to Zabu land, I like playing in the sand. It's uh, cool in the morning, like the snow on top of Mount Zabumufu. Yeah, yeah. And it feels good when I'm itchy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like sand, too. It gets rid of my itch, and it scratches my fingers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah me, too. Yeah, and the sc sand scratches my side, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It scratches oh, my feels... side, too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh, feels good. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait a second. Sand can't scratch our sides. What's going on? I'm going on. Me, Fibby. I'm the one who's scratching you. Well, thanks for scratching us, Fibby. But it's not getting rid of the itch. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do we do? Oh, oh Sabu. Yeah, uh, well, if it's the itch, the only way to get rid of the itch is to do the Malagasy chant. Yeah. Yeah, That's it, Snow Lemur. Falu ma. A Monday, Hunday, ha. Run a fun. Falu ma. A Monday, Hunday, ha. Run a fun. Our chance chased the itch away up and over Mount Sabumafu and out of Sabu Land. And we weren't itchy anymore. The end. <laughs> hey, let's try that in Animal Junction. Falu ma. Monday, Hunday, ha, Ranuma Fana, Veluma. Monday, Hunday, ha, Ranuma Fana. Vuki Bay, Giju Salamatuku, Mafi Vuki Bay, Giju Salamatuku, Mafi Vuki Bay, Giju Salamatuku, Mafi Vuki Bay, Giju Salamatuku. It's working! Gone. Yeah, so are the lion cubs chasing the itch. Going back to the pride where they belong. Living free and, and in the wild. wild. Incoming! Duck! <laughs> oh, oh, thanks. Oh, I always like to be scratched. Oh. No, oh, yeah. A little to the left? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, can you go in the back? Oh, that's really nice. <gasps> oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. No, no. Can, can you Did you ever have little? a peregrine oh. falcon scratch oh. your itch? Oh, you've got to try it. It's good. Yeah? Oh, I should have called you Scratchy Feet. Oh, yeah. No, just over there on the, oh, by my ear. Oh. Well, while well, Zabu's oh. having his head scratched by a peregrine falcon. Oh, that's good. Let's see yeah. what Jackie's up to. Goldie and I went for a walk in the woods today. But when Goldie ran past some burrs, a lot of them stuck in her fur. Burrs make Goldie itchy. Burrs are really hard to get out. And they're prickly, too. There, that's the last one. What a great animal help. Yep. So they got rid of the itch. And the itch isn't here in Animal Junction anymore. The itch travels the world. I've got an idea. Let's follow the itch and see which creatures it leads us to. To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. You ready? They're Here going goes. to the closet to grab their <laughs> stuff and slip. <laughs> <laughs> Binoculars always come in handy on a creature adventure. And you can never go wrong having a map and compass along. Come on, we have an itch to follow. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what Let's to follow the store. itch around they're the world. They're coming from the closet Bye, and they're up. headed out the door. Bye. Ah, kayaking's the best. All right, so the itch is gone. But where'd it go? One way to find out is to follow the scratch. Woo, rapids! Whoa! There's somebody who the itch has gotten to. A shedding snake. This snake is scratching off her old skin. You know what? A snake sheds her skin inside out. See how she does it? She crawls between a couple of rocks and her old skin peels right off. <laughs> Martin, what are you doing? Ah, the itch has got me again. All right, you managed to get your paddle top off just like a snake does. 
inside out. Wow, that is some snakeskin. The itch has definitely been here. And the grizzlies filled it too. Oh, another way creatures deal with the itch is to go somewhere cool and soothing. Let's hit the water. And he's even using a stick to scratch with. In the water to get rid of the itch. You know, grizzly bears love the water. And they're great swimmers. Let's head out and see who else has been hit by the itch. Come on, let's go. Did you hear that? What? Amazing! A herd of elephants! Yeah, it looks like they've got the itch too, and bad! An elephant! Now that's what I call a big scratcher. And elephants have all sorts of ways of dealing with the itch. For starters, they spray themselves with water and mud! That feels good. Sometimes, a big old tree gives an elephant all the scratching she needs. Now that's what I call a big back scratcher for a big itchy creature. And sometimes elephants deal with a big itch by rubbing up against each other. To a baby elephant, her mom's leg is a lot like a tree. Now that's teamwork. Oh, the itch is too much! The itch is too strong! <laughs> Scratching is important. Run! Back to the itch-free zone! Back to Animal Junction! Let's leave this itch behind! <laughs> hey, does that feel good? Something's going on. Wait, do you want to find out why? Yeah, must be right. Come on. Hey, Zabu. Hey. Who are you hanging out with? Dog was itching, so I'm scratching. <laughs> Oh, so the itch is back. Yeah, the itch came back from the dog. It's a good thing dogs are such great scratchers. A dog can scratch any itchy spot with her nails or her teeth. Wild dogs, too. And a good brushing sure feels good to your pet dog when she has an itch. <laughs> it's funny how her leg moves. OK, so here we are again with the itch. Now, can you think of any other way that we could get rid of the itch? Yeah. Frisbee! They've got an itch to play! Oh. Woo! Great catch! I love how she catches it before it even hits the ground. Yeah! Ooh, nice <laughs> one! Oh, the itch is hard to ignore! Hey, Zob, here you go! Hey, I caught it! Nice catch, oh. Zob! Throw back! Okay, catch! We did it! She's a Frisbee dog, <laughs> and I'm a Frisbee lemur! Okay, hey, who's gonna get it first? Who's Chris or the dog? Wow! <laughs> Super catch. Yeah! I love playing Frisbee. Yeah! I think this is working. I don't feel itchy anymore. Come on, let's go. We played the itch away. <laughs> That reminds me of one time in Zabu land. <laughs> I was sleeping along. Sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> oh, Zabu, you're sleeping. Mm. Baby, quiet. Mm. Hey, Zabu! <laughs> are you sleeping? <laughs> I'm not sleeping anymore. Oh, well, then, Zabu, uh, could you help me? Uh, oh, oh, well, sure, I'll try. I've got a itchy itch on my tail. Okay, no, 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 I'll get it, just hold still. I get what? it, it's the what? itchy, please scratch no. me, Zabu. No, no. gotcha. And I started scratching his tail. Oh, the, oh that feels good. It's fine, too. No, 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 not so fast. I can't, I can't hang on. Hey, Zabu, what are you doing up here? I was helping baby Zabumufuasaurus get rid of his itch. It, it worked! No more itch! Thanks, Zab! I'm itchy now. Oh, 
Can you scratch me? Sure, Yob. Come on down. So I jumped down, and Slimantha tried to scratch me. Yeah. I slipped out of her hand. Yeah. Well, that's another story. The end. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I think we finally beat the itch. I was so itchy before, but I'm not itchy now. Yeah. <laughs> we did everything we could to scratch away those itches, and we're not itchy anymore. <laughs> this animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Bye, Krat Brothers. Keep on leaping, Lemur. Bye, Zabu. Hey, Chris, let's go see what whales do when they get itchy. Let's check it out. See ya. My name's Jesse. This is my hamster, Hammy. Yeah. Hey, Martin. That's who's quacking. Wow, three ducklings. <laughs> and it's bath time. Oh, the water rolls right off his back. Looks like bath time's over. Time to dry off. I like how they shake their tails to get the water off. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> hey, and ducklings use their bills to get the water out of their feathers. You know, we use towels to dry off, right? But this is the way the ducklings dry off. <laughs> they flap their little wings. <laughs> These ducklings can't do much with their wings now. But when they grow up, these wings are gonna be powerful wings and make these ducklings powerful flyers. Sabu will love these guys. You know, I wonder, do lemurs take baths? Let's call Zabu. Hey, Zabu! Zabu! Zabu, Mabu! Here he comes. Hey, hey Zabu. Zabu! Good to see you, buddy. Let's go. Zabu, do lemurs take baths? <laughs> you got my nose. <laughs> what a silly lemur. Come on, Zab, tell me. Do lemurs take baths? You know Zabu. Eat first, talk later. Zabu mangoes. Mangoes are slimy. But Sabu loves him. Come on, chew like a lemur. Excuse me. Sabu Mabu! <laughs> hey there, everybody. Hi. Hi, Sabu. So, do lemurs take baths? Lemurs like to tooth comb each other. That's how we take a bath. How messy can you get? Who are you talking about, Zob? <laughs> Who's so messy? Three of them messy. Three of them? Yeah, but it's hard to tell who. There's a lot of mud on top. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? <laughs> this mystery animal was looking for mud. And when she found some, she jumped right in. I took a closer look and got a face full of mud. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? There's three of them, all covered in mud. Do you know who they are? Okay, I think I got it. Don't tell me. I think I know who the who's are. You do? Yeah, the three red hanging tongues gave it away. Three muddy dogs. Three muddy dogs! Three muddy dogs! Mudgazika! Mystery animals here! 
Did you know there are over 300 different kinds of dogs in the world? And they all look different and have different names. Like a pug, a Siberian Husky, and an Afghan Hound. But there's one thing the same with all dogs. Only pet them when you know them and an adult says it's okay. Can I pet your dog? Sure, you can pet my dog. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That's how you meet a new dog. So, what kind of dogs do you think are hidden under all of this mud? <laughs> the only way we're ever gonna find out is if we get this mud off. <laughs> so, when three muddy dogs come into Animal Junction, do you know what time it is? Three muddy dog time? <laughs> yeah, well that and bath, bath time. time. Come on, Zob, let's get the tub ready. Okay. Yeah, you're so good. Boy, you are muddy. How'd you get so muddy? Uh-oh. Do you know what I just realized? When dogs get muddy, one of the first things they like to do is shake. Yikes. <laughs> it's like goobleberry goo. Slippery and slimy, just the way I like it. Here's a place for a doggy bath. Now this is one big tub. <laughs> tub it up, uh, Guys, any more room in that tub for one more muddy dog? Hey, what happened, Martin? How'd you get so muddy? Yeah, we were only gone for a second. I know my brother gets into messes, but this is ridiculous. Well, the dogs shook their fur, mud flew off, and it covered me. Like that. Let's name these dogs. Muddy dog number one can be Furface. Muddy dog number two can be Squirt. And muddy dog number three can be Catcher. And number four, well, number four is Martin. All wow. right. Yep, he's a muddy Martin. <laughs> now, most dogs don't really like baths. So, we have to figure out a way to give the dogs a bath so they like it. We want to make these dogs feel good. Yeah, we want to feel good. Let's get started. First, we have to fill up the tub with water. And we have to make sure it's nice and warm. Not too hot. Not too hot. Not too cold. Not too cold. Just nice and warm. Just right. Huh. Hmm. It's warm. Nice and warm. But wet. Water's too wet for me. But it's not too wet for muddy dogs. It's time to put the dogs in the tub. <laughs> OK, everybody in. First squirt, and now catcher. Whoops, we'll come back, catcher. The water's warm. Chris made it warm. It's OK, Furface. I know it's wet, but it's warm. You too, Martin. <laughs> now we got Muddy Martin and all the dogs in the pond. <laughs> Some dogs don't like taking baths, but they'll feel great later. When you're washing a dog, the first thing you do is pour water over the dog. You should always pour the water gently, because that's the way the dogs like it. And Martin likes it too. <laughs> okay, Catcher, your turn for the wet down. Wow, everybody's wet now. Whoa, what's the next part? Uh, next, we have to lather up the dog's fur with soap. Does it make bubbles? Sure does, Zob. Bubbles. Do I like bubbles? I have to think on this. This dog loves it when I scratch her back. But I have to be really careful not to get any soap in her eyes. Have you ever had soap in your eyes? Ouch, that can sting. Never put soap in a dog's eyes. Wow. Are these bubbles? <laughs> I like bubbles. <laughs> I didn't like got the hat on. <laughs> so do human kids. Mm, I'm making bubbles. You're a great hair washer, Zob. Uh, I'm not getting any soap in your eyes, am I? 
No, you're doing a great job. In fact, this is the best doggy bath I've ever had. Thank you. In fact, it's the only dog bath you ever had. <laughs> The bubbles cover the dogs like the jelly covered the green puppy in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along, leap, 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 when all of a sudden, <laughs> I landed in a big puddle of goobleberry goo. It felt squishy and gooey, and it felt good. <sniffs> oh, and it tasted good, too. <laughs> and then I noticed I wasn't alone. Well, <laughs> Hi, Green Puppy. Hi, Zabu. Green Puppy always likes to sing when she takes a Goobleberry bath. Goobleberry bath, what a splash. Goobleberry bath, what a splash. She said splash, so I splashed her. <laughs> and she splashed me back. <laughs> Goobleberry baths are fun, but also very messy. <laughs> Uh-oh, Green Puppy, here comes Goobel. Oh, Goobleberry Goo! Oh, 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 boy. And he sucked up all the Goobleberry Goo, and we were all cleaned off. And that was the end of our Goobleberry oh, bath. Oh, yummy! The oh. end. <laughs> Good story, Zaboomafu. Well, one thing's for sure. Now, it's time for the rinse. <laughs> oh, goody! The rinse! It's the next step! <laughs> Take a hose. Hose? Here's a yellow one. Hey, guys, how about this hose? That's not a hose hub. That's a Burmese python. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. I don't think a snake can rinse dogs. Hey, hey, not under my armpit. That tickles. <laughs> um, sorry guys, I can't help you. I'm all snaked up. Besides, rinsing's too wet for me. Hmm? <laughs> So, take a hose and rinse down the dogs. Be really careful around her face. Hold her chin up like this so no water runs into her eyes. Okay, Martin, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, you're all wet now. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Feeling great. <laughs> hey, brothers, it's my turn. I want to get squirt wet. Well, the snake who spits water. I like him. You mean the hose? Oh, yeah, the hose. <laughs> uh, let me try it, Chris. Okay, I'll turn it on for okay. you. Okay. Whoa, 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 Thanks, Zabu. <laughs> but it worked. See? I rinsed off Squirt. The dogs are all rinsed off. OK, everybody, out of the tub. Uh-oh. They're going to shake. We have to get some towels and dry the dogs off before they shake. Hurry up, Zab. Grab some towels. Towel? No, that's a basketball. Towel? 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 What is a towel? Don't worry, Zob, I've got the towels. Too late. <laughs> and too wet. <laughs> oh, well, guys. <laughs> too late. Here you go, Zob. Use a towel. So, what do we do now? Now it's time for the last step of a dog's bath time. <laughs> we all dry off. <laughs> we all dry off. Yeah, no. that's the last step. <laughs> and soon we'll know for sure exactly what kind of dogs our buddies are. Come here, 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 come here. The bath worked. They're clean and they feel better. <laughs> and I feel clean doggish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel clean doggish. How about you, clean doggish? Clean dog, clean doggish. There's no mud on me, clean doggish. I'm a squeaky clean dog who loves Ooh. to run around. <laughs> clean doggish. <laughs> We did it! Now we can see what these dogs really look like. She's a Border Collie. 
She is an old English sheepdog. And she is a long-haired Jack Russell Terrier. Now we're all clean dogs. <laughs> but you know what? Muddy or clean, both ways, they're my friends. That's my pal, Catcher. Nice catch. <laughs> and that's Furface. How do you see through all that hair? <laughs> and Squirt's the smallest, but she's got a big smile. We're pals, huh? Right, Furface? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Hey, it was great playing with you guys. Yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs> Oh, hi there, Pitchy <laughs> Catcher. <laughs> yeah, I like you too. <laughs> bye bye. Come back for a bath anytime. And I hope you find some more mud to play in. Chris, look out! Incoming! Duck! <laughs> this time it really is a duck. Hi, duck. Whoops, I better get this before it gets too wet. Talk about wet. Look at Duck. Do you think we should towel her off? No. A duck's body makes special oil that she spreads through her feathers. And that makes her waterproof. Water just rolls right off. <laughs> Guys, look what Jackie's up to. It was really hot out today, so I went for a swim at my puppy pond. But then I thought, the birds would like to cool off too. So I filled up my bird bath. It's important for birds to keep their feathers clean. If a bird's feathers get too grouped up with dirt, they can't fly very well. And taking a bath makes them feel good. But then a raccoon came over to splash around. Raccoons love to dip their paws in the water, and sometimes their food too. Hey Martin, Chris, how big a bath do you need for a herd of wild elephants? For that many elephants, I think you need an ocean. Well, you'd need a lot of water, Zob, but a lake would probably do. Hmm. Or even a small pond. Or a watering hole. A lot of creatures are into bath time. Bison love shaking it up in the water. And hippos cool off in the water all day long. The water protects them from the hot sun. How do African buffaloes take baths? In mud puddles. Baths in mud? Yeah, mud baths are a favorite kind of creature bath. But what about elephant bath? Yeah, you know what? Let's check it out. Let's go visit a herd of elephants for bath time. Hmm. Sounds like a trip to me. <laughs> They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to ah! grab their stuff and split. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll need a canoe. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Bye, guys. Get wet. See anything yet? Nope. Elephants. And here they come. When a lot of elephants jump to water, must make a really big splash. Uh-oh. Guys! Ah! Oh, oh no! I think we're gonna get wet! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what time it is? It's bath time for the outfits. Yeah, and it looks like we're taking a bath with the herd. Woohoo! Elephants like to take a bath every day if they can. Ah! Ah! Woohoo! A bath cleans them off and cools them off. Yeah! You bath time! Elephant baths are big baths. <laughs> hey! Is it time to get out already? You know what bath time's like. You never want to get in. But once you get in, you never want to get out. <laughs> yeah, we had a bath in a big way. Elephant style. But now, let's head back to Animal Junction, see what Zob is up to. Come on. This way, Chris. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you hear something? Get you yeah. Going? Do you hear that? Something's going on in there. Do you want to find out what? All right, let's go. 
Pigs! <laughs> yeah, I can't believe my mind. They came into Animal Junction for their baths. In mud. It's time to get dirty. That's what a pig bath is. Dirty. <laughs> it's bath time. Pig style. Calling all Pratt Brothers. Come on in. All right, Zop, here we go. Whoa! Woohoo! Whoa! <laughs> This could only happen in Animal Junction. I had a feeling you guys would need towels again. Piglets are so great! Piglet? What's a piglet? A piglet's a baby pig. This is a piglet. And piglets love to get muddy. And you know, so do rhinos. A rhinoceros takes mud baths because it's really hot in Africa, and the mud helps cool them down. Mud helps with the flies, too. Flies make a rhino itchy, so rolling in the mud covers him up and makes it harder for the flies to bite him. Oh, I get it. Mud baths make sense now. Yeah, there's nothing like a good mud bath for a rhino on a hot African afternoon. Oh, oh I feel a joke coming. And I think it's gonna be a good one. Okay, okay, I got it. <clears throat> hey, Chris, Martin. What did the rhino say to the baby pig who was splashing in the mud? What's up? Pig, let me in. Piglet. <laughs> <laughs> um, Martin, why is that piglet digging in the mud with his nose? Pigs use their nose like a shovel to dig up the ground and look for something to eat. It's like doing this. Use their nose like a shovel? What's a shovel? Over there on the porch, Sob. There's a shovel. Shovel, I want to see. Shovel. This is a shovel. Pigs have shovel noses. <laughs> hey, Zop. Huh? Take a look at this guy. I'm going to call you Shovel Nose. Good name, Zop. Let's go, Shovel Nose. Back to the mud bath. Shovel Nose loves the mud. That looks like fun. Come on, oink like a pig. Ready? You're doing great. <laughs> Maybe I should try mud, too. I'm coming in. Whoa! Chris, Martin, whoa! Squishy and gooey. Ephraim! Ephraim! Oh. Sneezing reminds me of something... In Zabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, leap, and then I heard a funny noise. It sounded to me like Narchi. Sure enough, it was Narchi. Climbing up the hill, pushing a zoot fruit. But then he sneezed. Then slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Try it again. Climbing up the hill with his zoot fruit. But he sneezed again. He slid down the hill. The zoot fruit rolled down after him. Then Narchi said, oh, I just can't get my zoot fruit to the top of the hill. So I said to him, Hey, Narchi, why don't you use something else to push the zoot fruit? Well, I don't have anything else. I only have me. Why don't you use your sneezy nose to help you? Try walking backwards and pushing the zoot fruit with your behind. Oh, uh, and don't forget to sneeze. Thanks, Zob. So Narchi's <laughs> nose sneezed him up the hill. <laughs> what a nose. <laughs> I did it. I climbed the hill. <laughs> so me and Narchi sat on top of the hill and nibbled on his zoot fruit all day. The end. <laughs> Great story. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, someone's headed this way. Monk, Sika. I can't believe my mind. Martin, Chris, it's a giant piglet. <laughs> She's not a giant piglet, Zob. She's the mother pig. She's come to get her piglets. Wow. She's big. I can't believe these little piglets are going to get this big. Monk, Sika. I can't believe my mind. You know, if she went in the mud puddle, there wouldn't be room for anybody else. <laughs> Look at all the piglets. They're suckling on her. <laughs> Look at how the mom keeps walking round and round, and the piglets follow her to drink at her nipples. Whoa, they're crawling all over each other. They must be thirsty. Those piglets are sucking on those nipples, and they get milk. <laughs> 
They're going home now. <laughs> See you later, big pig. See ya, piglets. Bye, Mungatsika pigs. Hey, that sounds like Shovel Nose. Well, that's because it is Shovel Nose. You're a baby creature, but you like to do things on your own, just like me. You're great, Shovel Nose. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his body behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Shovel nose. I guess I'm gonna go too. Bye, Crash Brothers. Bye, Zabu. See you later, Zab. <laughs> and we'll see you later too. What do you want to do now, Mark? Let's go surfing. All right. I'll race you to the water, bro. You're on. <laughs> My name's Troy, and my dog's name is Quigley. 